How we discovered that uh, Eleanor, um, well firstly there was something uh, not right. Basically over the period of about two week period she was coming home um, just complaining about being lethargic. We noticed her appetite was down. We also noticed uh, that she was complaining of joint and muscle pain. As any parent would do, we just put it down to you know growing pains uh, initially. Um, sore stomach, we gave her some Panadol and she went off to bed. Um, unfortunately the next night it, it reoccurred again. Uh, we woke up uh, with her in pain and at that point of time we went, something's not right. Eleanor was diagnosed with uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, uh, pre-B cell type, which is a type of blood cancer. And essentially it just meant her body wasn't making the right white blood cells to fight infection and it was just making her sicker and sicker every day. The, the treatment for uh, blood cancer in, in regards to Ella's, you know, the initial stage is, is quite brutal on their body, um, it's quite intense. We go through various phases, uh, obviously trying to attack that leukemia cell and we see several changes in her um, through that period of time. It, it's devastating for you know, the families, particularly you know, the children. It's, it's quite hard as a parent to, to sit there and, sorry, it's, it's quite tough for a parent to, to see their child go through that, but to know that it's, it's life-saving treatment. And the way Fight Cancer Foundation was able to support us in the education program was through the Back on Track program. The program was so important during such a crazy time in our lives and when we were experiencing so much uncertainty. What was so important was the support we had from the program, particularly in having a consistent teacher available to us. It meant every week when we showed up at clinic, there was a friendly face who also just wasn't part of the medical team. They did so much in terms of supporting Eleanor through her education, but also emotionally supporting her. And that was so important for her, to know that there was someone there who wasn't just going to prod her with needles or make her not feel well, because the treatment is very difficult. And to get better, you first have to get quite sick through treatment. Hosting a Footy Colours Day is a great way of supporting the education support program that um, Fight Cancer Foundation supports and it's a way of helping kids like Eleanor who are going through cancer treatment keep up with their education so that they can get back to their lives after. Help kids with cancer like me.